Tommy yeah, Martin, otherwise known as the Maverick Soul. And I am live in the Madhouse for my show, Maverick Soul Hour. Come and join us. It's the place to be. Right here on Madhouse TV, Sunday nights at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And we will put you out to the entire world. You got that right. Tom Bailey, welcome to another edition of the Long Island View. Watch Legal Straight Talk right here on Long Island Public Access Channel 20. Why are you playing with your toys? I want to man house day big. Hi, everybody, and welcome to tonight's edition of The Filmmaker Show. <laughs> Whoa, loud. Yeah, a little. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> because I have to. And I got my wonderful guest star with me tonight, Michelle Parisi. Oh, wait, she's the host. And <laughs> I'm <laughs> saying, I'm not a guest star. <laughs> You're right. But you I'm know, a co-host. You are a co-host. Did you like those commercials at the beginning of the show? They're great. They are good, right? Yes. You show all the great shows from Madhouse TV. Check that go on Channel 20. I was going to say the same thing. You took the words out of my mouth, dear. I get to do that. You can do that. But, you know, before I begin, every week you guys all hear me say something really important. And I say thank you to Michelle and a handful of other people. But then I bring up these four eclectic people that I happen to absolutely love. And that's Tommy Marr. We call him iconic because he can sing amazingly. Tom Mealy, who, in my opinion, is one of the best people that can do technology integrated with Internet that I've ever seen. We've got a wonderful woman by the name of Janine Zerilli, who is right on par with everything she does. And of course, Vicki Mealy, who always seems to be in the, the booth and never really gets anything out there other than maybe a quick smile. But I want to say not only thank you to them early, but I want to introduce you to them tonight. If you've never seen them before, and I can't imagine you haven't, these are my friends and these are the people who run this studio. And without the four of them, there would be no Madhouse TV. Welcome, Tommy Marr. And Tom Mealy. <laughs> What's up, well, man? Well, 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 I'm You're still talking like Scrooge. Uh, yeah, the what, Scrooge thing the Scrooge. Here. That's right. The Scrooge voice is still here. It's the end of the year. Well, I'm trying to get rid of it. While we're there, <laughs> I want to say thank you to the both of you that, you know, I brought the grandkids over to see the show. Oh, thank I you. I thought it was over the old Beth Page uh, Restoration Village, and it was really, really nice. Mobbed beyond yeah, belief. Thank you. Yeah, yes. we Beyond did belief. Unbelievable. Yeah. But it was a great show, and but thank we, you. We the kids loved it. There. You know, we had some we had some family in here from South Carolina and also from down in Virginia. Yeah. And they came with us. And and what what I want to know is where did you go? <laughs> yeah. I went to the early show. <laughs> you know, we, we came I, only, I thought there was only one well, show. Well, we came. How did you think there's only one Cause show? Because Janine, Janine told me it's at well, six o'clock. When do you ever listen to Janine? 
Always, else I'd be wandering around well, the parking lot. There was two shows. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know. I want to welcome you to the Long Island View, the filmmaker <laughs> show. The, <laughs> it's all at once tonight, guys. But no, it was actually a great show. I think it was better than last year. I Thank liked you. it better than last year. Yeah, I it was liked, getting better and You better. know, uh, the audio was a little bit better. Yeah. Um, you know, but uh, next year, you know, let's talk. That next would be year, my only yeah. criticism of the show that you yeah. guys should be mic. Yeah, it's yeah. such a yes. gigantic And with the building. background, people yeah. shopping in that, yeah. it was yeah. very annoying. But well, did, next year. Did you pick up that woman who was selling yeah. that toy with the clicking yeah. sounds? It was annoying. But then the know. lady with the doing the filing of nails, which I wanted to rip that. I couldn't believe but it. But you know, not that this show is about us, but the reality is we did pack the house, and I'm very proud about that. That was great. But that's due to the four commercials that were made with with all of us together. Well, that's true. And and the amount of people who <laughs> saw the commercials, each one of those commercials had no less than two to three thousand hits each, and they kept playing each and every day. And of course, you know, it's all about Madhouse TV when you really boil it down. And I guess tonight's show uh, is a great one for everybody. Don't you have to, to say hello to somebody first? Mm. First of all, you asked me to say hello to your mom. And she was, say her name again. Please. I'm not going to tell you. Oh my God, quickly, what's her name? Joanne? No. Mrs. Mrs. Close. Mealy. Josephine? No. Joanna? Just, just go with Mrs. Mealy. It's no. <laughs> no. It's no longer Mealy. Right? Gene. Gene. Taylor. Gene. Taylor. Gene Florida. Taylor. Florida. Yeah, and he's Gene Taylor, Florida. Florida. Tell him his line. Let me ask you a question. How many <laughs> men are named Florida, though? Gene Taylor, Florida. Is, is that the married name? That sounds like the, uh, what's it, Jackie Gleason? Say dances, hello, right? Gene. How are you? Hiya, Gene. How are you? I'm yeah. Jerry Parisi. I'm proud to work for your son here at Madhouse TV. Hi, oh, Gene. Jesus. What, yeah. do you want to raise or something? Now? I think I need a raise. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, we have a lot going on. You know, this station, uh, it, it came to me sometime just two or three weeks ago in an email. It was very interesting. They had asked about all the different stations because someone from out of town saw my show because we were all over the place and said, in that network, is that the best network of Long Island? Because they, they would, and I, I don't know about the other networks. I really don't watch and see them. But I can say this one. We are the most progressive that I know of here on Long Island. And with what we have going on at Madhouse TV for 2016, I'm thinking this is really going to take first place somewhere. Well, you know, like I say, we're always, you know, there's always somebody that may be bigger and better. Um, we, try, we strive to bring in the best equipment. When somebody says, are you the biggest? I don't know where we're the biggest, but I got to tell you, we definitely are the most recognized. There you go. And, and that's, that's equally as important. You know, no matter where Tommy and I go, we're always getting stopped. People recognize us from either the show or some of the, especially Tommy being a singer, you know, in the, in the, uh, in the music world. So I don't know definitively if we're the largest, but I think we're, we're, the, we're the most recognized in the industry right now in, in probably North America. I don't know about across the country, but definitely North America. Well, here's a very interesting thing. About two weeks ago, I was in a city. I had to be up at the Screen Actors Guild. And as I was going to an audition, someone in one of those eye places where they make up your eyes. This is a great story. This is true. He goes, Mad Men, Mad Men, you're for the Mad Men. And I'm looking, it's like, no, okay, keep going. Mad Men was a TV show on the air. He goes, you, film man, film man, come here. So I turn, I said, you mean me? He goes, yes, you, my sister is an actress, and we both watch together your show on Mad TV. I go, oh, you mean MadhouseTV.com? Really? Honest to God. An Irish guy? No, he was like Indian. <laughs> 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 That's true story. I believe true it's, story. Uh, it happens to us all the time. And, it's, and it's... then there was that other, the other incident where that uh, I had, uh, we had been shooting the beginning of Legal Straight Talk with Jackie. Our husband was in the truck. Jackie was, uh, was getting a few things ready with her, the infant daughter. So I took little Lucas, put him under my jacket, and I walked up. So this is in Queens in a, in a diner, and we, ha we were starving at that point. And we go in, and as we're going in, this man is from a, he had a, a, a blue and silver Silverado truck with all metal in the back. And he goes, yo, sir, man. I'm like, whoa, who's this guy? And I'm walking Lucas under my arm so he's not cold, you know. And he goes, sir, sir, wait, what you're doing is the greatest thing in the world. I go, what's the greatest thing in the world? And I'm like, where are they, Jackie and Chris? And he says, what you do, that little boy's going to remember. Is that your son? I go, no, it's my friends. They're right there. And, then he, and I said, but I got to get going because he's cold and you understand. And he goes, well, wait, I want to tell you one more thing. And I said to him, what's that? And he said to me, man, you look better in real life than you do on TV. Now, that was Madhouse TV, too, because they don't get Channel 20 in Queens. And that was, the, and that yeah, was a scary he, but one. But if he said something like that, obviously this guy had cataracts, right? 
Yeah, I think he was blind. <laughs> Did he have a white cane? Had <laughs> no, it was really her in disguise. But tell me, tell me some of the great things you got going on at Madhouse that really sets you apart from a lot of the stations that I, that we hear about. I would like to address that. Please I, do, I, sir. I, I, what I what I enjoy about it the most, <clears throat> and I truly mean this, it's the variety that we have here, and. The shows, some of the, not. I mean, some of these shows are really gaining great strength sure. and popularity. I mean, I'll t this AAU show mm -hmm. for the youth. I mean, well, Vicky and I do that show, and I'll tell you something. Every week, it amazes me, and I and I sit there and and listen to how how much these people care about kids and stuff. And I mean, they bring in heavy hitters from all over the world, wow. and it's so great. And then you know, you got the comedy if you want that. You got, we got the greatest musicians in the world have come in here. Many, many uh, artists from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, the Blues Hall of Fame. Uh, we've had dancers. What, what haven't we had? You I know, mean, there's, there's nothing we haven't there's had. There's the other shows that with Linda Ventura. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what you yeah. can't put. I think about how many lives she saved. You know, Linda Ventura, in case the audience doesn't know about Linda Ventura, Linda Ventura, uh, she lost her son Thomas to a heroin overdose about four years ago. And has since been a, a, a tremendous an advocate for uh, preventing other families from going through the same things and more supporting the families uh, of, of families of children that are addicts. And she gets so much support from Albany. She's really making a difference out there in a lot of people's lives. And we're fortunate enough to have her here on Tuesday night to, uh, to do her And Washington. At, at I mean, she's in Washington yeah. all the time also. She's always in front of Congress. So for, for somebody like Linda Ventura to who has the ability to do her show anywhere in the nation to choose this network to actually sure. do it on is kind of like a plus for us. Mm. Yeah, and, she's and a we, hero. Yeah, she's she a hero. She really is. And she's, she's got a lot of energy. Linda's a wonderful woman. The, the times I've met and spoke with her, she's just got, she's undying. She's driven. Oh, she's she driven is. to help. Yeah, and, really and you is. could take what she says to the bank because she's no sadly been there and done that. And, and Tommy, the comedians that we've had here. Oh, yeah. I mean, on the on uh, yeah. Benny, Benny Benny show. Uh, Benny Rizzuti's and, show. You know, I, I mean, the comedians are the best around. Bob Nelson was, I mean, Bob Nelson's one of the funniest men in, in the world. Um, Joey Cola, I personally yeah. think, is, is one of my, my favorite comedians in the world. I mean, he is amazing. I mean, that's a, it's, Evan Ginsberg on Saturday. That's a great yeah. show. You know, Evan, Evan is, as everybody knows, he was a, uh, a producer, director of The Wrestler, right? right. With, With Mickey, Mickey Rourke. Rourke. And um, what was the girl's name? She was in uh, My Cousin Vinny. Oh, Marissa, oh. Marissa Tomei. Marissa yeah. Tomei. I love her. And, and I keep telling I like him her. that yeah. can that you get Marissa yesterday. Tomei in the studio? I would and he was going to call her and see if she can come in. And, you know, obviously, you know, she's, she's an unbelievable actress. But the quality of the acts that he has brought in from literally around the world. I mean, you remember he told us one day he's got an act coming in from, from Japan. He had China. China, wow. China wow. then Australia. And these people are all flooding in. So getting into, you know, which is our next venture for 2016, the thought was let's build a bigger studio because we really do need a bigger studio. So we kind of like we're joking around. I don't know, were we drinking that night? And we came I was with this idea. <laughs> and, I might have been watching you drink. But. You know, we came up with an idea of, well, why don't we just open up something where we can have some people with a live audience, like a theater, mm. and then Vicky had well, mentioned something. Well, that's how I think it started. With, with, you know, why thing. don't we serve a little wine? Yeah, now and you're talking. Now we're going to fast forward. You know, with our mindset, we are now, uh, as of February or March, opening up mousetrap. the largest, not just the mousetrap. This is the largest um, wine and cheese cafe wow. in all of Long Island, New York metropolitan area. The, the average wine and cheese cafe is usually anywhere between 18 to 2,200 square feet. We have 5,200 square feet, wow. two stages, a full, in, a full sound system, um, four VIP sections, and then another section which is set up just for like special VIP person, you know, with the red rope or for CD signings. Yeah, like me. And then. And then what? A, a bar it, that goes 32 feet long? And then, is it too And far? then where do you tell your secrets? We have a bar that's 32 feet long, wow. seats 15 people at the bar, and then another section that feeds another 13 people at a small counter that overlooks the two stages. And then the kicker is we're bringing in a psychic on Tuesday night. Everybody loves a psychic. There is a full-size Mosla 
safe that was left over from a bank that used to be there years Columbia ago. Columbia Savings we're Bank. We're actually putting her in the safe. Oh, no. Uh, with the door is going to be open, obviously, oh, okay. but it's going to be called Psychic in the Safe. Your secrets are safe with us. Wow. So, a little play. so just to get, and then that's not to mention the prep room, the two bathrooms, the downstairs. This, you know, we went from just a simple thought, and that's typical for the four of us. You know, we're always uh, pushing the limit, pushing the envelope. A simple, let's just go with a little bit bigger so we can bring in people to the largest, probably in the New York state, right? Well, I, I, I for what we're going to do, see, the, the thing about this place is, which you guys have to know, is, again, variety, which I think is our biggest thing here. We have a great variety. Sure. But think about just in seven days a week, the, the amount of different varieties, never mind whether it's comics or psychics or uh, poetry or acoustic guitar players, or you're going to have, we, we, like Tom said, we, we, we design a stage to come, a half, it's going to be acoustic, half round, but then we're going to bubble off that a little higher. And when you walk in that front door, you're going to see a white baby grand piano with a spotlight on it. And that's what you're going to see when you walk in the door. And that's going to be a separate stage just for piano playing and uh, we're going to have some of the greatest musicians in the world in there. Is the entertainment going is going to be incredibly off the hook. It's going to be a place where you can go, because I, and, I, and I told Tom this too, there's no place where, and in my opinion, that you can go if you're married and you're in a serious relationship or even a first date and you want to just quiet and nice and be comfortable where you could sit on a, on a sofa with a fireplace like we're sitting now and talk with your friends and not hear the screaming and the yelling. And right, the, you know, right. It's, not, it's going to be a place of peace where you can just relax and enjoy yourself and have a great conversation and watch great entertainment, have the best meats and cheese they around. Know, one I mean, of the there things, used to be places like that. There used Honey, to be. Tiffany's. But, but, and, but, but know, the disappear. difference, though, Michelle, right? was, with those smaller. places is smaller. when you walked into those places, you, all you did was sit at tables. We're not just bringing in tables. We actually went out, and instead of getting cloth, and we actually bought Italian leather. I mean, this is the real deal. Italian leather furniture that you sit in. You don't want to get up and go anywhere. So it's almost you walk in, and there's, there's these four sections that are, that are separated with a full-size Italian leather sofa, mm -hmm. an Italian leather chair, big fat chair that you sit in, the coffee tables, the end tables that go with it, and then up on a different area, which is on almost the same side as the stage, you're looking at two full-size leather sofas that when you go into this and you sit down, you don't want to go home because right. this becomes your home. And, you, and the wines that we're bringing in, we're bringing in wines from around the globe. Yeah, it's not just the, Long Island, best California. Sure. Too. We have Italy. Yeah. We, we're taking them from France, it, from it Argentina places that had ideas along these lines, but you guys are really... Well, we, we well listen, it I mean, with the wine, way. we reached out to a fellow, a friend of ours, Michael, that's been on another show here on Madhouse. This guy is like the guy that goes in Italy and picks the grapes from these right. exclusive oh, places. No, this guy I mean. is the man. He is the man. Yeah, he and, was really uh, good. And, and then it, the meat Tommy guys. Tommy was saying with the meat, we're not going to a place like Costco to buy meat. No. You know, the people that we're buying the meat from, it's, it's more expensive, but... Like the Gabagol, all, all high end. Um, Handmade. It's, 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 I don't know the word that they use. What a cured. Uh, yeah. You know, he does, Aged. he does the Aged. aging, the, the pepper meat, the salamis, the, all of the yeah. meats that we're having in there. It's not and like you would go to whole, restaurant right. row. They, and buy sir, they, they only sell to the highest end right. in New York City that there is. We just happen to know these guys, wow. so we, so we hooked really up with them. The and they did a great display the for us. The That's cheeses great. are not going to be. I mean, you, know, you go to a you go to a wine and cheese place, and and you look at the cheese. You can tell if they went to Restaurant Depot and bought some blue cheese. The cheese that we're buying is coming from individual um, distributors as far north as uh, Vermont. Right. And wow. I think the uh, the other distributor was upstate somewhere upstate New York. These are all individual distributors of cheese. So it's not like, you know, you go to a place and you say, okay, you know, give me a pound of that and 10 pounds of this and six yeah. pounds of that. The cheese is going to be just as good as the meats. And then there's the breads and the, um, um, the grapes the, that go with the platter. And Vicki and Janine will be doing all of our platters. As you know, they, 
they're the experts when it comes to putting this together. Sure. They know what color to put on the plate. So when you get a platter from us and, and you see the platter, two cheeses, two meats, it's not just two meats, two cheeses, and a loaf of bread. It's done with cut up apples and, and purple grapes and nuts and mm. olives. And they, that's all extra on the platter. So when you come there with, for, let's say, four people or, or two couples, you know, you're going to be able to sit there for literally hours and just listen to some of the best entertainment that New York has to offer and, and really around the world if we get them in this from other areas. This is going to be a great, great thing. And sip some of the best wines. The wines will range anywhere from about $25 to $30 a bottle all the way up to $400 a bottle. So whatever you want, it's going to be, be there. there. Right. And it's going to be so such a nice wow. atmosphere too. Vicky just came in with a sign. I couldn't see it. We have been fortunate enough to have met a lot of very uh, A entertainers through you, you know, that actually have their own wine. And oh, we've been fortunate cool. enough to speak with some of these people. We are bringing in celebrity wines. Uh, Vicky just met with somebody from Fog Roger Hat. Earl. Roger Earl from Fog Hat, mm -hmm. who actually signed a bottle to her. The only one left. Uh, the Rolling Stones. Wow. We got a bottle. Uh, from them, we got another bottle. I can't remember. There was four bottles. Where did we get them from? One was a Woodstock, uh, a Camarin and Woodstock yeah. bottle. It was Rolling Stones, Fog Hat. Um, I, I forget the who Grateful they were. Dead, I the think. Grateful, Grateful Dead. Grateful Dead. Wow. And we're going to have these wines available, you know, for special occasions. It sounds like But see, that's amazing. the thing, though. What, what he just described, though, if you really think about everything he just said, everything that we're doing from the entertainment to the to the uh, interior of the place. It's top shelf. To, top it's shelf, all yeah. at the highest end. Right. Like these meat guys. I mean, they put a display. And we spent the Sunday with them, and they came and they laid out the whole thing for us in a, in a friend's restaurant, wow. all by ourselves. We're the only ones in the place, and right, you couldn't. You, it was unbelievable. It was like you didn't think there was that much to it. You know, I mean, but people, oh, people this is, looked for places. Like huh? This people looked gonna, for places yeah. like this oh, that's, to go to. Oh, oh. here we are. Yeah. You know, we, we How hope. many people um, can the restaurant actually hold? We have, we have permission for 125. Um, I don't think we want to go over that because we, we don't want to make it. You ever walk into yeah, a place where you're wall to wall? I don't want to see that. I want to make sure everybody has a seat. And at the bar, if it's one or two deep, I'm okay with that. But I don't want to overcrowd it. I want people to come in and feel comfortable. Yeah, yeah. We right. want it to be a place where you can go, and, and I'll tell you something, from being in the entertainment business, you know, like my band plays all over the place, and sure. like sometimes you play in a biker bar or something, and you tell all your friends, and they'll, they'll drive up. They're intimidated. They see 40 bikes out there. They're like, I'm not bringing my wife in there. You know, not that that really matters. But no, it doesn't matter. This is going to be a place where you're going to know going in that you're going to be in a relaxed atmosphere where you can sit and not be, you know, screaming and yelling. I mean, I, I can't handle that. I can't handle that. No, it sounds like not it's only going to be a very, are you going to have the quality foods? You're going to have quality people, the quality too. people, and and the quality, a good quality of life, right. built right into the restaurant. And, That's how I see and it. And also, we're looking in the daytime to build the kind of a, uh, I won't say the name of the place, but you know, we can come in with your laptop, and you could do some work on your laptop and have a glass of wine or something. You know, one of the nice one of the VIP somewhere. areas actually has a fireplace, ah. so you can sit in this particular area with your laptop on a cold Sunday morning. And have some coffee and some uh, some pastries, and the fireplace will oh, be on. That's really nice. You know, wow. and just that's kick really going to be good. Yeah. How are you going to get rid of us? We'll make a reservation <laughs> now. We <laughs> have Vinny. <laughs> Vinny's our bouncer. <laughs> Vinny Solari is the. <laughs> that's going to be but great. I don't. I don't anticipate <laughs> no, um, the the clientele that we're looking to bring in. I don't anticipate that kind of an issue. No, these are all upstairs. So people, you know, you got the police department right across the street. You yeah, got all the problem. parking in the world behind it. It's great. It's, it's right in the like middle of town. It? Where is it? It's in Amityville. It's in Amityville, the right address, by the, the triangle in Amityville, the clock and the gazebo and right, the whole right, thing. Right, right. It's beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. And the name, I have to give credit where credit is due. Who came up with the name of the mousetrap? Because I, I don't know. I did. You did. Yeah. So I said. I, have Tommy to, Marr has I just come popped up with it name. out because you, know, you said something. I said, hey, you might as well call it the mousetrap. You know, trap. it, it had to do with cheese. Great idea. It is a great idea. <laughs> Get them in. The trap them. is the mousetrap wine and cheese cafe. And, uh, you know, we're on, we are actually have a Facebook. We have our, our uh, website up already. Nice. Which is um, 
mousetrapcafe.com Love or it. the mousetrapcafe. I don't remember which one. I think we have both of it's them. It's either the mouse cafe. Yeah, it, You'll find it. Google mousetrapcafe. If you go cafe. to it, and um, our menu will be coming on there soon. That's awesome. We'll have the menu coming up soon. and um, It'll be a great you know, place to A be. lot of it, people it, can it, corporate events. It's going to be a place that doesn't exist. No, I'm it's sure. going to be a that's, lot of that's fun. Like it. And that's what I'm really looking forward to, that when people come there, they're going to go, hey, thanks, you know, because this is it's really nice. nice. Really, really, really nice. nice. But hang on one second. We'll be right back. Those of you who don't know it, tonight's a special hour-long show with Tommy and Tom. And what we're going to do next is we're going to show a little bit about some of the things that Madhouse can do for you, one of the most incredible portable machines that, uh, that this station has put together, so that if you have certain corporate events or anything like that, you may want to talk to Vicki here at uh, 631-669-7999, right? Man, I got that right without a cue card. I'm good. You're better than me. <laughs> I thought you only had one working brain cell today. No, the, all three are back. Oh, my gosh. Only for a day, though. Okay. But <laughs> it, it ends January 2nd. It's for Michelle, news. help them do the bills tonight. It's, no, I don't know how to do those. <laughs> all right, so those of you watching Channel 20, you'll see a continuation of this next week. Those of you watching Madhouse TV right in front of your computer and enjoying it, stick around. We'll be right back. And uh, as I always like to say before we go, i got to thank those four eclectic people, Tom Mealy, Tommy Marr, Janine Zerilli, and Vicki Mealy. Remember, now we not only have a studio to be thankful for, but we have a mousetrap, too. And uh, we'll be right back. And a back. drone. <laughs> Get my own. It's so hard <laughs> to keep the, the view from the filmmaker show tonight. <laughs> See you in a few minutes.
Tommy Mark, otherwise known as the Maverick Soul. And I am live in the Madhouse for my show, Maverick Soul Hour. Come and join us. It's the place to be. Right here on Madhouse TV, Sunday nights at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And we will put you out to the entire world. You got that right. Hi, I'm Tom Bailey. Welcome to another edition of the Long Island. Yeah. Watch Legal Straight Talk right here on Long Island Public Access Channel 20. Why are you playing with your toys? I want it man house TV. Hi guys, welcome back to the Filmmaker Show. Jerry Parisi here with my lovely wife, Michelle Parisi, who is a co-host. Hi everybody. And to my left, Mr. Tom Mealy. And to my right, the iconic Tommy Marr. And in front of me, one of Madhouse's newest toys, not to uh, take away from the drone that we have, uh, is, what do you call this box? Don't Tom? you know what's called You know, the we beast? really didn't know the what beast? to call it, so we called it the Beast. The Beast. It is the beast. Ladies and gentlemen, the beast. Now, what, are, what is the beast? The you know, beast is, is let me, good. I'll I'm, introduce I'm it for you. myself. It is basically a portable Madhouse TV. And now, talk to us about the beast. Well, Tommy actually came up with the idea and said, listen, you know, we go on location a lot. We, we, we got asked to do the Blues Festival again in Canada. And I remember, Tommy, the last time we were there, it was a little bit of a nightmare setting up the system. So, um... As soon as he says, you know, we need something, then my brain starts working, yeah. and Vicky starts getting nervous because she knows we're then not ready to write Then our pockets start checks. twitching. <laughs> but this was actually a design that Tommy and I came up with. This is a custom, um, it looks like a stage box. It's a top that goes on, a, a front that goes on it, and it's on casters. It's about 500 pounds. Wow. And what's unique about this is that this, we have a, we actually had a custom trailer built that this actually slides right into the trailer and the trailer is pulled either by the RV or by the, or by the Jeep and uh, we go on location. We can get on location anywhere right now in the country and within literally 10 minutes be ready to set up the stream. And what's unique about it, as you can see, we have a soundboard right here, which is not as big as obviously the soundboard here in the studio, that soundboard Holes, I believe, Tommy, was it 12 or 14 channels? Somewhere in there? 12. 12 channels. Um, and then in the front, obviously, we have our TV interfaces and our computers that sit in. This here is something that is hooked up to our drone. We have two drones now that will wow. fly up to about 5,000 feet, which sends a signal back down here to this. And um, all the inputs are on the side. 
But you say, well, where are the screens? Uh, we came up with an idea of hydraulics. Look at this. And the hydraulics in the, in the system bring the screens <laughs> right up from behind it. And now we have a full studio. And, uh, you know, I got to tell you, it's, it's really interesting. Are we up all the way? I think this we one's not on, though. No, no, the center one's not because our TV interface isn't on. But this, you roll this into a place like um, Windsor, Canada for the Blues Festival. And I think it's going to take longer for Tommy to get 100 feet into the boom and into the air than it is to actually turn this on and set it up. So, Well, I'd like to talk a little bit, if, if I may, about yeah. this, which I think is like the super coolest thing about this. I mean, the music part is great. Like we do, the Blues Fest is the biggest blues festival in North America. But, um, and like Tom said, we did, have, we, we ran a lot more than we had to. We, we wouldn't have to do that at all with this. But the great thing that I think is the selling point of this, if you have a wedding, just a, oh, a wedding, sure. and you have relatives all over the world or all over the country, they can now be at your wedding live and interact completely with you. And not just weddings, bar mitzvahs, christenings, anything. Uh, uh, Funerals. Sweet 16s. Why not? And why not? Last yeah, guy yeah, to let yeah, you yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> we could put him in the beast. <laughs> oh, my God. But if any of you don't know what a drone is, I'm sure you've seen it on CNN. A drone is, um, is a very, very high-flying um, piece of equipment. They're very expensive. And, you know, we did buy the top-of-the-line drones only because we need the stabilization and the camera equipment. So as those drones are up at 5,000 feet, we have two of them that are actually going to be fed a feed into this system here, which is actually feeds into the other system, which allows us to stream it out um, to the world. And that's, that's a unique I thing. I think you should also talk a lot, which I think is another incredible part for this, is the seminars. Oh, yeah. that's I mean, a great it's an idea. amazing, amazing save. I mean, I'll give you a quick example. We have a couple of people that do a show here. They just went to San Diego with a group of people, 3,500 people. Now, think about that. 3,500 people all over the country leaving their jobs, plane fare, hotels, meals. Add that up, the math on that. When you can do that right from here and they don't even have to leave their place of business. And you have your seminar right here. Boom, done. We can wheel this into your office and... There it is. That's it's true. Yeah. Think about the money, though. Does. You know, I, I, uh, I can't say the name of the and insurance the company, but we, we did um, partner with an insurance company who does do the seminars, and they were flying people out to California from all different um, areas of the country, and they had staff of four or five people that not only flying them out, uh, putting them up in hotels, feeding them, et cetera, et cetera, um, we're working a deal right now to do the seminar uh, through here on Long Island, which will now feed into the, um, the hotels with the conference rooms in the geographical area of where these people actually work instead of flying them out. So it, it, does, it does prevent a lot, uh, a lot of uh, unnecessary um, downtime at the uh, place of employment. And uh, like I said, there's, there's nothing like this anywhere else uh, in the world. This is all um, custom designed by Tom and I. And uh, we came up with the ideas. We came up with the design. And the company out of California actually uh, built it. And I'll never forget the look on your face when, the, when it came in the, uh, in, the, in the truck. I think it was the look on my back. You know, we, <laughs> we, we couldn't get this into the studio. We actually had to call in a contractor yeah. to redesign yeah. the door opening so yeah. that we can get it up through the loading dock. Never mind the, the day we spent. <laughs> I know. Trying to get but it up. It's all a learning curve, and we got it now. We're good. Yeah, it's a good piece of it's equipment. Amazing. It, it's this is great. I see so many things that that this saves companies thousands, and not that I'm pushing companies, of course, but in a general situation, companies using this. That's you just go right back to your your desk or work or your office, whatever, instead of a plane and airport. Uh, yeah, and you this go and that. wineries, anything, anything. I mean, it's it's unlimited, unlimited. And the beauty about it is, it rolls in. That's it. And rolls out. And rolls out. We could even hook this up to the Pope Mobile. The Pope Mobile. Come on. Why didn't he listen to you? Back we to were a little early on that one. You know, fun. actually, so actually, being, don't, 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 don't. Don't don't discard that. Because I'm not in 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 the in the motorhome that we have. Yeah. Um, if this technically was in our open trailer, mm -hmm. right, 
and we needed to do a parade. The motorhome does have 110, you know. So oh, wow. theoretically, if this was on our trailer, we could actually stream a live parade right from the motorhome. Right. So that, yes, that can be done. Or on the top of the motorhome, if the motorhome is, 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 is in the parade, our cameras, these, the camera wires that we have are SDI format. They go anywhere between 20 to 100 feet. So theoretically, if this was on the trailer, our cameras could be on the top of the motorhome filming a live parade, picking wow. up a satellite. Do you know do right now, imaging. Vicky is rolling her eyes because she knows yeah, I, I that know. you've just come up with a new idea. <laughs> but, but, you know, it's, but it's, I know who's up on the roof. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's endless. But, well, this uh, is a great piece of equipment. Oh, that's amazing. It's historical. It is. It, yeah, it, it, really it, is. it is absolutely historical. Never been done. Unbelievable. Mm. And then this is going to save so and much And I do got to give my man over here the credit on I that. I remember during Donnie Most concert uh, back this past summer, everybody was breaking their back, moving things. This, yeah. this is just the Running crazy. wires everywhere. Yeah, the miles of wires yeah. are amazing. So this is a great thing. Some of the other shows, do you think any of the shows will benefit by something like this? You know or? what? We're not offering it to any shows uh -huh. uh, at this point. Um, you know, right now, we're just going to keep it for what we built it, what it's intended to. You know, we have so much going on with the cafe now. Sure. And all the shows that are being shot here. I mean, the radio is in here now. So there's so much that I, I think that for right now, we're going to take a breather. We're going to get the cafe uh, up and running the way sure. we want to do it. And you know what? A year from now, two years from now, if we can incorporate this somehow into the shows, then, then we'll talk about now, it. And, and, don't, and don't forget... We are going to be using this out of the cafe. That's too. exactly yeah. what I was going to say. Yeah. Do, yeah. The cafe has the potential, literally, of an, of an elegant giant studio, I'm sure. Without, yeah, we're going, to be, we're going to be using it in the cafe. You know, Tommy was mentioning um, um, Canada. Uh, we were asked to do the uh, Blues Festival down in Nashville. Memphis. Memphis. In oh, Memphis. I'm going with you. Memphis. Wow. And, um, and, this, and it'll go down there. But yes, it will be in the cafe. We will have the ability to shoot live shows out of the cafe. That's incredible. So the, sh the cafe is not only a wonderful place for wine, cheese, a great date, first or, la or wherever you want to go, nice breakfast place if, if that's what you want to work at, but now it's got the potential of another studio Absolutely. under Madhouse and TV. And when is the last time you've seen an acoustic act live oh. on television oh. in 204 countries? It's... When? While, while you people never, are eating high-end cheese and crackers. <laughs> well, cheese well, we and could crackers. always FedEx the cheese and crackers. That's, that still amazes me. <laughs> right. That right, right now we are in 204 countries. It's right amazing. Now. Right. Uh, you know, I've got my friends in Greece watch me. I've got friends in Germany and a few other places. Uh, when my son came back from Japan, he looks at me. He says, Dad, you look better on TV. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> so Mike. Are going to walk back over? <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Let's All go right. back to our stations here. Beautiful piece of equipment. Are we spinning this camera no. around? No. Nope. So, um, All right, but so anyway, so that's, that's the story with that. And, um, you know, we're, uh, we're very happy with, uh, with the way things are going. Um, I have to say that, you know, we've been in business now five years. Five years. And even though we've had our differences, I think that um, the team that we've put together is incredible. I don't want to leave out. Another uh, important part of this, uh, Dr. Tom Dow. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You Amazing know, show, too. Uh, Tom actually came in as a partner with the, med, with the cafe. Okay. And Tom's going to be very, um, very important to, to what we bring there. You know, he's involved very heavily with the medical community. Um, he's a great guy to know. And, uh, you know, I, I just didn't want to leave him out of this because he is a very vital part of what we're doing now. Well, not only that, the way I know Tom, very interesting show, excellent show, actually, uh, Bridge to Health is. It's, uh, it's one of the ones that are in prime time on, on Channel 20. But when you listen to Dr. Dow talk, he really has something good to say. He does. He's, he's, he's knowledgeable. I, you can I, see. Vicki and I do his show. And yeah. I, well, usually Vicki and I, by the time the show is over, we have every disease they just talked about. <laughs> But uh, what I do like is that every week... And you got him sitting next to you? He's like falling apart. Every week, every week he brings in a, 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 an, another professional, whether it be a heart yeah. doctor, yeah. Uh, neurosurgeon, or whatever. It is very, very interesting. 
and he's a very, very articulate and uh, influential person. Yes, and he's, a, he's a very clear. And he's a good guy. And, and, and in my opinion of him, he, he really, he's got his finger on what's the latest techniques out there. The, he the, thinks out of the box. He does. He and does. That's what I like about him. Yeah. yeah. You know, he, he is thinking out of the box. And then, of course, you know, we couldn't do this without Larry Shearer. Right. You know, who's our, our private attorney. I mean, he's. And we have another guy, too. Larry Shearer is Tell the. Is the oh. uh, Rich? No. Nope. No. Uh, just Larry at this point. No. Uh, Larry we, we Shearer is gonna, your yeah. silent partner here. He's, he's a silent partner in Madhouse TV. Larry is our attorney, keeps us out of trouble. So, you know, it's uh, not that we're in trouble, no. but Larry keeps us out of trouble. And, uh, you know, Larry also plays a very vital role. You know, when we're putting together the deal for the Mousetrap Cafe, I mean, you know, as much as I know about contracts and law and, and Tommy with Entertainment Network, we didn't see a lot of the things that Larry saw, mm -hmm. which could have cost us a lot of money in the, in the end. Wow. And as much as I, I kept on calling him, and Tommy would tell you, Larry, what the hell are you doing? Larry, get on the ball. Larry, do this. Larry, do that. He was looking out for our best interests. And at the end of the day, I don't think that we could have put together a better deal um, with, with the cafe or even, even with this with this place here. Wow. I mean, he and, really and we he's could, a pain in the ass. I'll and we could actually give it. him a little but, shout out in good. the Cayman Islands right now. <laughs> no, no, hey, no, actually, Larry, I hope the beach he, is he, nice. He, he called me a few minutes ago. Oh, really? Yeah, there's a Cayman Islands out there. But, uh, no, Larry is a, is a great guy. He's a super attorney. Um, and when I say super, he's part of the super crowd. Okay. And, uh, Definitely and we're, one we're on very the team. grateful to have him on the team with Tom Dow. And, um, well, Tom Dow, uh, if I just, he's a hell of a nice guy. That's the way I see him, a nice guy. Yeah. He's certainly he's, he's, just he, a warm, nice guy. And there's nothing more to it other than everything that's like There's no with facade with him. No. It's straight no, out, and that's how nice I like guy. it. And then now let's talk about Legal Straight Talk for a minute. Where's that going this year? That, that is more exciting to me because I love the law part. I'm thinking if I never went into show business I, or advertising, I would have loved to maybe be in a law firm. Maybe I'm going to put an application in. Well, you know, Legal place. Straight Talk um, is, is a good show. I love it. It's, it's done with Brett Harrison. Um, initially when we started Legal Straight Talk, it was supposed to be Brett and myself. Um, and I kind of bowed out of it. Um, I'd rather, you know, be behind the cameras. Well, you're producing it. Then always sure. in the cameras. Yeah. So I, but Brett is good at what he does. Um, he's learned over the past year how to do an interview, mm -hmm. and he seems to be getting better and better at it. And what, what Legal Straight Talk does is it, it takes everyday questions, yeah. takes the, the issues of legalities out of it, and, and kind of, it is what it is. It's straight talk. He'll tell you straight on what you shouldn't do and what you should do and whether you choose to go either to his firm or to another firm at least you have a better perspective at that point of what the truth is so many people are um, they're misguided by the law i know sure. i was until i got it. i've been in law now 20 some odd years and it's they're so misguided they're, they're intimidated about the language and i think that they are Brett, they're intimidated by lawyers period you know simpler. And uh, lawyers are very intimidating. That's, that's good. Long Island View, one of the other proud shows that are on Channel 20. Where's that going this year? I, we love it because, I mean, it, you know, first of all, we love where we live. You know, we love Long Island. Yeah. And what better to showcase sure. special human beings that have done great things for Long Island. And we enjoy it as much as the people that come on the show because, you know, we're – we're opening up avenues to these people they would have never had before sure. to do nothing but good, you know. And, I mean, you can't even put a price tag on it. Not at all. I mean, even we even had Michelle on with... Um, the autism. The autism. Very, and very I mean, important. I'm very proud you know, of her. I mean, it, 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 it's, you know, to so many people that made, might have made major changes in their life, that one show. Sure. You know, sure. It, it, it's incredible the reach that and we have. What about that great filmmaker show? Where do you see that going? No, that's that's we're gonna cancel. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> is that a morning <laughs> show? Is that a morning? Uh, is that after the cartoons? I, I don't know. It's right I, after I, the I, cartoons. It was actually it was on the it was on the thing to cancel. I don't know. It, yeah, that was probably. <laughs> there is another one though. Let's let's talk about <laughs> let's talk about some of the other great shows. Uh, Date night. How's that coming along? That looks like a fun show. I got to tell you, those two are are are, are hysterical. They are. You know, they 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 Connie do bring. Christy. You know, listen, I'm not, I'm not into that 
that date night thing and a lot of the things I don't agree with. But I guess in reality today, they're kind of like the tides have turned, you know, where it's sure. more that, you know, years ago it used to be the guy, you know, chasing the, chasing the woman. Yeah. Now, well, not now. It's, I think it's, it's funny, though, it's, because it's now Connie has a guy. And it, it kind of, you could actually see the change, the dynamics yeah. of the show change. Wow, wow. really? You know, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. And, but I find that, you know, they have on these um, these dating coaches. Really? I mean, who the hell needed it? Did you need a dating coach? I, I never needed we were a lucky. I, I needed an undating coach. I mean, you know, but I remember growing up, I mean, I had no problem getting a date. No, I mean, you know, yeah. and, and you just needed a wine and cheese cafe to go. That's there. all. That's, that's what right. you needed. But <laughs> they've, they've, I guess since the times have changed, they have a very unique show. It's called mm -hmm. it's called Date, Date Night. Night. Friday nights at and, seven uh, or eight. Friday nights at eight. Uh, Friday nights at you know what? I don't even know. Seven thirty. Seven thirty. Friday at seven thirty. How's the girls from Shake It Up? Haven't seen them in a while. I don't do it. I don't see. I haven't seen them in months. They're great. Regina. They're great. And, they're they're very high high energy, high power. Karen and Regina. Um, amazing girls. Amazing. They bring amazing guests on. A um, lot of information. They're you know. They're high class chicks, you know, bricks. and they're what about uh, bricks. Bricks, I love. I talked about AAU. See, I, see I, I don't know these because these I are love shows. bricks. Right, love them. Absolutely love them. Um, the uh, what's um, the other guys? I, I don't know them. No, you the other guy. What you had they? the radio. The, other guy the cop. The, the cop. Oh, I don't know. I don't remember. His it's good they don't know. I'm telling you, there were so many people. I, yeah, we folks, have 30 shows. There's something. so many shows. There were so many people that come in and out of these doors. Right. I don't know who they are anymore. And That's the God's honest truth. Yeah, and I love when people ask us, hey, you know, they, I couldn't tell you. I, I have no I idea. Tell you. I have no idea. And so, the Gagoot show. The Gagoot show. Benny yeah. Rizzuti. Oh. He's hysterical. Hysterical show. So. Nicole and everybody else there. The top, top notch. Anybody that's in comedy knows them and they yeah. really yeah. they really are tremendous yeah, networks they're, too. and, and then we crazy. can't leave out the maverick soul hour oh of course. maverick soul where do you see that show going yeah well, how's that show that show you you're, you're not even going to believe what who you're going to see on that show this year give you're us, not give believe. us some clues come on you mean well, i'm going to be on your show i mean i can only tell you this i mean <laughs> i've had john mayall savoy right. brown george thoroughgood wow. um the vanilla fudge uh the oj's uh uh, the, the list is Dana Fuchs. Dana Fuchs. Um, and you had it just goes on. It, it and goes on. on. Yeah, and I, I mean, mean, like I mean, we just had two of the greatest, three of the greatest blues artists in the world on, and and wait till you see who I got coming on in February. Oh, I can't wait. It's gonna blow the world away because no one's ever seen these people. They're flying here from Brazil. They've never been in the United really? States. Wow. You are not gonna believe what you see, because oh, I couldn't keep believe it. Keep it, it. Keep it, keep it, no. keep it a, Keep it a little bit of a secret. Incredible. Here. Little it's bit gonna of a secret. It's going to blow the music industry yeah. away. It's, that is wow. amazing. So but you know what, the, Jerry? This is what I talk about, about Madhouse TV. When you asked us at the beginning of the interview, are we the biggest? We're not the biggest, but people are coming from literally around the world now. That's true. To be here. And it's not a yeah. joke anymore. No. And when people say, well, that's impossible, how can they? You know what? I don't know how it's possible. All I know is that when somebody like, Evan Ginsberg tells me that these people are coming from China. You're telling me that somebody's coming from somewhere. I got in a Europe. call last night from a guy, and actually, Vicky, uh, Vicky knows him too. Actually, you met him too. Uh, he called me up, and he's having this guy fly over from London just to do my show, and flying right back. The, and he's supposedly so, so the greatest brings, blues guitarist in the what world. What brings huh? people that want to be on this that bad. I mean, I still look at it, to me, it's a little surreal sometimes when I it see is. all of this, because, you know, that which started out in a basement has materialized into this phenomenon that's going on, that people will fly here and spend money to come in from London and all over the world to be here. And I still sometimes sit back, you know, or I'm at home with Vicky and I'm saying, what the hell did we build? The energy, Tom. Do you realize you know, the energy the, you put see, out Maybe there? I don't the realize reach. It. It's the reach. It's the reach. It's your energy. It's the goodwill. Madhouse TV is a goodwill place. Uh, maybe I just don't. Well, maybe it, I just you know, don't sense yeah, well, it Well, being in the, in the uh, entertainment business, where can you come on a show and be seen live in 204 countries? It doesn't exist, it doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. anywhere. No. So that's why they're coming. And we're looking at Rocco down the road. We're looking at a handful of other things to bring Madhouse to light. Before we go, I want to ask you about some very important stuff uh, because those were wonderful shows and, and all good shows that we have on the air here. But let's talk about the radio real quick. 
We didn't talk about that. We got amazing shows on the radio. Tom. You know, we, we, Lip we, Wally we and decided Phil to and, I mean, build a radio station. We had no idea what we were doing as usual. And we built another radio station, very successful, iTunesUSA.com. That's right. And Worldwide. I got to tell you, you know, um, Eric Coppola, who, is, who owns iRadio USA, uh -huh. um, getting to be a very close friend of ours. Um, he's a competitor, but I got to tell you, he's got a great station. He's giving me a lot of ideas. Nice. Um, we have two stations. How about the story of the reach from to England, that the comedian that... Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah it's you know, unbelievable. It's, wow. but, but with iRadio USA, iTunes USA, uh, we, we're starting to really pack it in. And we've got some great shows. Lip Wally, Thursday love, nights. Chris, um, them. Classic Rock, Monday through Friday, 24 hours a day. Right. Other than, than Thursdays. Uh, we have, um, I'm going to say Meathead and a Hot Hat, or what, what the hell is he called? <laughs> it was on just, so if you go to iRadioUSA.com, right, I mean iTunes, right now. USA right now, I was actually asked to be on the show. These guys are hysterical, but don't let your kids listen to them. Um, and then That's we the just we have a new guy coming yeah. Friday. Right. We're doing a new sports show oh, good. on, on nice. the radio. Uh, this is somebody new. His name is Alex. And we're meeting with him. He's going to be doing a sports show once a week on radio. And, and it's just building up and building up and building it up. So it's, it's really kind of neat. But, but when, when we don't have our, our talk shows, right. we have classic rock playing 24 hours. And there you Very have good. it. So... For those of you watching our show tonight, we appreciate you coming by. We want to wish all of you from Madhouse TV, and actually you should say it more than me. This is your station. I'm just proud to be part of it. Uh, we all wish everyone a very happy, healthy New Year. Yes. And I want to say on behalf of the four wonderful people, uh, Tommy Marr, Tom Mealy, Janine Zerilli, and of course Vicky Mealy, uh, thank you for watching Madhouse TV. Thank you, Michelle, for being here with me. Can uh, I say something before you end? Because you don't get please. the recognition, all right? I don't. And I have to tell, I have to tell you, Jerry Parisi does go way up and beyond a lot of things that we expect here at Madhouse TV. And if it wasn't for him, half the commercials you see, half the openings you see, the banners that you see, this is all done by Jerry, and I don't think he gets the recognition. And I'm sure I can speak for myself on behalf of everybody at Madhouse. We could not do it without him. He's a, he's a great inspiration and a great asset to everything we do here. Thank, Thank you. you. Along Thank you. with his manager. Absolutely. With the, manager. <laughs> with the manager. So a quick. <laughs> the brains behind the. The brains. Uh, Absolutely. So <laughs> quick, uh, I want to say a quick shout out to my friend Leland Prater and my friend Alana Phillips. Those are some of the people you see. Jackie DeSimone, you're part of it. Cheryl Dobbins, you're part of it. Uh, so many people that you don't know that I work with that bring things to fruition here for me to come to you guys with a full, um, uh, a full tray of what I offer you guys. And with that. And I, can I just say one thing? I just would like Red. to say one thing. I one just thing. would like to say I hope you're watching. Uh, I just want to send my prayers, and I'm sure the rest of us do, to Janine's mom. Absolutely. Oh, you know, yeah. uh, Janine prayers. is there now. I hope you guys yes. are watching, but we all send our prayers to you, and we love you. Right. Absolutely. Right. Prayers out. And, and I want to say so long one, one more time to your mom. I just want to say that, that it was. Yeah, think of her name again. Good night, Gene. We'll see you in a couple hours. Good night, Gene. You always talk to me on Facebook anyway. Take care. I think a few of his brain cells died. All of them died at this point. We'll see you next week. Great shows next week. We got Inside the Screen Actors Guild coming up. We have amazing shows on location coming up to further Madhouse's look and vision for better shows. And I am so proud to say that we've got a lot of these coming up. We have Deborah Markowitz coming up in the upcoming episodes. Nassau County Administrator of Film, Television, and Radio. And her own film she'll be talking about. So we got a lot planned. A lot of great shows coming up. Legal Straight Talk, The Woman on the Street. And uh, from there, Madhouse is only going to get up and better for 2016. Thank you guys for everything. Yeah. Happy New Year, Happy everybody. New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. Be blessed.